I don't recommend sitting by the window. From the aisle, you can't see the manholes. But they're there, hundreds of them. At first, I thought I could avoid them. Then I looked. Have you ever done that? Looked. Counted, considered. If you do count, if you consider the sheer number, you're only one thought away from what's underneath. Unless you stop on the surface, focus on the patterns, the words, the size, the shapes. That's how I avoid going below. Numbers don't matter, except for the number 452. That's how many manholes there are on Geary Street, averaging 5.9 for each block. That's a number that matters. You could think percentages, chance, probability. Out of the 452 on Geary, it only happened to one. Holy shit. Still, I know there have been others. I've been watching the news, searching the net, and counting. Please hold on. But when I ride to work on the 38 Geary, I try to leave all that behind. Between 48th Avenue and Market Street, my bus passes 17 houses of worship. At the Orthodox Church, you can view the relics of St. John, the man who made a lame boy walk. Further on my route, at Fillmore, there's a post office where the People's Temple stood. There's nothing left of the Kool-Aid preacher, Jim Jones. I include the Shriners Temple at Leavenworth Street in my worship count, even though it's a garage now, and even though they deny the architect's request to put his name on the cornerstone. Some say the Arabic over the entryway reads, Great is Allah, and great is Ross the architect. Some say forgiveness heals. But what about evidence? Manholes rattled between the and Fury during underground one alarm fire. June 24, 2008. There's no evidence a streetcar used to run by Star King's sarcophagus at the Unitarian Church. There's no evidence St. John made lame boys walk. There's no evidence the gas pressure was too high. Engineers couldn't replicate the failure. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward, Donna. You can do it. But for Jim Jones, we have proof. It was no miracle. Although the woman in the wheelchair stood up, she wasn't lame. She was Jones's secretary.
Jim Jones didn't like questions. I don't like question marks. Not the shape or the dot underneath. The manhole cover sliced through the passenger seat and was left hanging from a gash in the roof of my Volvo sedan. They say it was a miracle no one was killed. And the odds are, it couldn't happen twice. So why do I clench my jaw every time the bus lumbers over that intersection? I get off the bus at Market Street, thankful for the routine of work. I don't mind my job. Some might, especially since I don't use lasers to measure and calculate the loss. But fitting a prosthesis isn't a science. It's a skill of the imagination. Some clients say it's a miracle. Though I appreciate their faith, the only way to make it perfect every time is by feel. Running your hands over the stump, feeling the missing limb, all the contours of what was and what might be, rendering it into what is, a step without pain, a belief there is some place to go. I take that belief and ride home, passing the time by figuring the odds. Is a manhole on Geary if it sits partway on the intersecting street? Please, hold on. Muni should hire someone people will listen to. But Geary Street is full of orators. Perhaps it's best to ignore the warnings. Turn off the soundtrack. Take my chances. Who knows? 
If the odds improve, I might move back over and sit by the window. <laughs>